Scene one, take one. Action. I think it's taking too long. No, you you start no, the no, first no, one. No, you say. <laughs> Do I say? It? Hey guys, what you guys? Whoa, up whoa, to? whoa, whoa, whoa! You don't touch Chinese people's. <laughs> 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 I don't know, Jenny. I've got some pretty good cards. I think you're gonna lose. Hey guys! Whoa, guys whoa, whoa, whoa! You don't touch Chinese people's shoulders when they're gambling. Chinese superstitions and beliefs. We Chinese have so many superstitions. Today I'm going to share with you eight. Lucky eight. And that's the very first one, the number eight. Now in Chinese, eight represents fortune and prosperity and good luck. And that's why you can see that we have, we like the eight number. We have our license plate sometimes, right? That with the eight. Uh, phone and number? Phone numbers. We like house eight number. house numbers, yes. Any number. Any numbers. <laughs> and birthday. You want birthday. Uh, sometimes even multiple, like double egg or even triple egg. Yeah. We also like the six too, right? Six egg. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes. Six and eight. Yes. What about three egg? No. Three six. Eight. What does six word. represent? Six is um, coming. It's coming. Oh, it's coming. Okay. Yeah. So okay. like. Usually Chinese people do on their lessons play, they do one, six, eight. So they will keep making fortune. All the time. Con fortune. Continuous. So mm. so you can see how, how much Chinese <laughs> likes money, right? It, it, they don't, not, not just fortune, but continuous, non-stop fortune, right? But also I think six also symbolize uh, ongoing too, like forever, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So six, six, so that's also too. I know you have some props here that you could share with, uh, with the audience here. The so first one. First one, ta da, Victoria's license plate. There you go, right? So, Vic, <laughs> so, like this, Vic. Now, now, Vic, did you pick this on purpose or just by accident? You know the, what? the 168. Yeah, living in Vancouver, it's extremely hard to get a license plate that has an 8. Yes, everybody wants an 8. Yeah. So, here's what I did I, I ride a motorcycle. So, motorcycles, less common, right? So I went to the right insurance place and then I saw this and right away I'm like, boom, this is the one. And I pulled it out of the box and they're yeah. like, you sure? I'm like, I am sure this is what I want. Uh, I like that. Yes. I like that. And you can also see that the, the 166. Now also Chinese, we don't like this, the number four. We do not like number four now. What does four mean? Yeah, four means death. It means death. It yes. means death. So sometimes you see that Maybe in certain apartment buildings, mm -hmm. they try to avoid a uh, floor, fourth yeah. floor, mm -hmm. or even 14th floor. Yes. And so bad, so bad right? Mm -hmm. uh, our cell phone, yeah, yeah, we don't like four either. Mm -hmm. House uh, number, uh, try we try to know. avoid it. We yeah. try to avoid it. So developers actually, so they don't, they don't even use fourth. Now, I know some people from mainland China, they also don't like 18. Mm -hmm. Now, although it, it has the word eight in it, you would think, oh, that's fortune. Mm -hmm. But in Chinese, we believe the 18th, which is the hell, yes. right? It's, it's, it's supposed if you do something very, very bad, you go to hell, it's the, the minus 18th, 18th floor. 18th level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 18th that's floor, yeah, near the core of the earth, that's against superstition, right? Yes. That's what it is. <laughs> so don't think, oh, 18, that's good, no, not 100%, depends on what they believe. Mm -hmm. So to be safe, 8th floor is good, 20th floor is good. Yes. 30th floor is good, right? Four is definitely no good, right? So that's the second one. Now the third one that we have is the cat, which this is actually from Japan, right? Yeah. From Japan. And it also represents good fortune. It represents good luck. And you can see the little arm like that, right? And I believe that the left arm is for uh, symbolized prosperity, right? And the right arm is symbolized uh, health, good health. So Chinese usually this money. It's always money. I don't know why. It's always money. And yeah. then you really put this next to the cashier. Yeah, the next you see something walk into a, a Chinese restaurant, <laughs> right? Cashier 
you know, to attract prosperity, right? Mm. So they have this moving all the time, right? <laughs> many, many retail spaces use this cat. So no matter if it's a restaurant or a clothing store. Yeah, you see that a lot. Doesn't matter what it is. You, see, you walk the, in the door, you see the cat. Yeah, the, the owner, cat beats you. Owner probably Chinese, Asian, or, or <laughs> Japanese. Now, sometimes I even seen they have multiple ones. They have like a massive, big fortune cat, and then a middle, medium-sized one, and then one smaller mm. one. It tells you how, how, again, how much they, they like money, right? Yes. So that's the third one, the fortune cat. Now, the fourth uh, superstition is a little bit more interesting. It has to do with gifting. When you are buying a gift, now, what you don't want to do is you want to, want to buy Chinese a clock as a gift mm -hmm. because it symbolizes, again, death. Mm -hmm. That means it's you, you, well, you wish the person to, to mm -hmm. die or pass away or something yes. like that. The homophone to saying gifting a clock sounds exactly like sending you to your death, bed, yeah. basically. So that's what it means. It doesn't sound very good. Yeah, so mm -hmm. buy your own clock. <laughs> you want a clock, buy your own clock. You don't want to use it as a gift. So that's a clock. And then the next one that we have... The umbrella. The umbrella. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit interesting. Now, for the umbrella one, that in Chinese, we believe you don't want to open up your umbrella. In, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to break the rule just a bit just to show you so <laughs> that but we don't want to attract bad spirit and bad luck some bad things are going to happen and as you can see they feel almost a little bit unease right you open up the umbrella indoor we do not do that now why don't we do that well the rumor is that you bring spirits and ghosts into the house with you. They, they kind of hide under yeah. the umbrella yeah. and they come in with you. With you. So it yeah. brings like bad luck or like ghost, ghost spirit, right? Or that kind of thing. Mm. So yeah, we don't do that. Don't open up the umbrella indoor. I do not open umbrella in other people's house indoor. <laughs> That's a big no-no, mm -hmm. huge big no-no. Yeah. And then another superstition, which is also has to do with gifting, is when we also don't want to give people a pair of shoes. Now, I know your friend gave you a pair of shoes, right? Yes. Yes. So, and then she asked so why don't we do that though? What, what, what does that mean? Well, like when she gave me a pair of shoes and then she asked me for a dollar, I was like, what do you mean? I thought this is a gift. She was like, no, 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 no. You don't give your best friend and family a pair of shoes. That means they're going to take those shoes and run away from you. So it's again, okay, almost like you want to send them away. Separate. They're going to yes. run away. You're going to separate with them. You don't want to do that. Now, if they give you a dollar back, it means that they're kind of buying buy it. it. Buy yeah, it. So exactly. it's superstition, right? Again, you give the gift, it's okay, but you want a dollar back. So mm. that's you want them to stay, to be with you, to still maintain that good relationship, right? Okay. The last one, I believe we we're talking about sharing pear or not sharing pear as a fruit. It's just a fruit. Yes. Mm. Because the name of the fruit in Chinese is homophone to separating. Separation. Or splitting up. Separation. Yeah. So when you cut up pears, you don't want to share because that symbolizes, oh, we're going to separate or divorce or mm. just split up basically. Not see each other again. Yeah, mm. so it's not it's not a good thing to say. It's just bad luck for Chinese superstition. Mm. And the last one, the last superstition. Which make it lucky eight. Yeah, lucky eight. We have to stay with eight. We have to stay, yeah, because <laughs> we have seven. So we got to just come up with one more. At first, I, I thought of seven, because so I come up with one more now. So the last superstition is... Don't put your chopstick in the rice. Uh, don't put your chopstick in the rice. So that again symbolizes what? So when our ancestors pass away, mm. usually what people do is they will have their photo inside the house. Mm. They'll have a bowl of rice yeah. with a three, three sticks of incense where they burn the incense to kind of pay respect, like give them a spot inside their home, right? So you don't want to do that with your chopsticks because it looks similar. Like visually, it looks similar to you putting incense, um, you know, onto your bowl of rice. Mm. So if you're eating with, you know, Chinese people, and all of a sudden you do that, they're like, "Well, what are you doing? Like, are you trying to pay respect to somebody who's passed away right now?" Like, so it's it, again kind of a bad luck thing to do. It would put people a little bit off. So certainly, that's not something that we want to do. And those are the eight Chinese superstitions and beliefs. Now you might think, "Oh, it's a bit too much. Why are they?" like you know so difficult it's not that it's just like we want to do everything we could as you can see it's about attracting success a prosperity good health also through that you can learn a little bit about how important family values right or the relationships are to chinese it's very much about relationship too so 
Comment below if you know of any other superstitions that are like kind of interesting that we may not know. We can cover that in the future video as well. But those are eight basic ones. Just be aware the do's and don'ts and when you're gifting people, when you're communicating with the Chinese. Make sure you click the subscribe button, turn on notification, click the bell, just click the bell. And if you want to watch my other videos, just go to the left, you'll see all our other Deco China videos. We upload new videos, every two new, two new videos, every single week. So make sure you stay tuned for that, and I'll see you in the next video.